This week we are introduced, or we already met Avram Avinu, but we get to know him a little better this week. And the life mission of Avram Avinu could be summed up in the words, Vayikra B'Shem Hashem. Wherever he goes, Avram Avinu is Kore B'Shem Hashem. What does it mean to be Kore B'Shem Hashem? Uncle says that he davened. However, the Ramban, and the Ramban, the Ramban here at the beginning of our parasha, the Ramban in Hilchos of Rezara, Perk Aleph, both understand that the Kriya B'Shem Hashem was that Avram Avinu took upon himself the mission to teach the world about HaKadosh Baruch Hu, to teach the world of HaKadosh Baruch Hu's existence, of his Elohus, and that he is the only one worthy of serving. The Rambam actually takes us further. He doesn't just talk about it in Hilchos of Rezara, but the Rambam, at the beginning of every Sefer of Mishnah Torah, starts with the words, B'Shem Hashem Kel Olam. The Rambam clearly understands that not only was Kriya B'Shem Hashem the mission of Avram Avinu, but it's our mission as well. We, the Bnei Avram, have a mission to teach the world about HaKadosh Baruch Hu. The Rambam saw himself not only as a teacher of Torah, but as a person continuing the mission of Avram Avinu, a person who's Koru B'Shem Hashem, B'Shem Hashem Kel Olam, is the introduction to every Sefer Mishnah Torah, the Sefer in which the Rambam teaches us and the whole world about what it means to serve HaKadosh Baruch Hu. The Rambam also talks about this in Sefer HaMitzvot, in Mitzvah Gimel, by Abbas Hashem. The Ram quotes the Sifre that uses Avram Avinu as the model of what it means to love Hashem, that Avram Avinu, his love of Hashem, that burning passion for Kadesh Baruch Hu, let, leads him to teach the whole world, to introduce the world to Kadesh Baruch Hu. So that is the Kriya B'Shem Hashem of Avram Avinu, according to both the Ramban and the Ramban. In our parsha, the parsha begins that Avram Avinu builds a Mizbeach, and the, the Kriya B'Shem Hashem takes place next to a Mizbeach, and it's presumably some sort of theological instruction. He, he builds a Malkam Avoda and he tells the people, this is who HaKadosh Baruch Hu is, this is how we are going to serve him, we're going to recognize his existence, that he created the world. There's another type of Kriya B'Shem Hashem. At the end of, towards the, almost at the end of Parshas Vayera, at the end of the sixth Ali in Vayera, Vayita Eishel Be'er Sheva, Vayikra Hashem B'Shem Hashem Kel Olam. Avram Avinu, he plants an Eishel, and there, he too, there too, he calls out in the name of Hashem. Unclus again says that he davened. So you could daven next to Mizbeach, you could daven next to an Eishel, presumably a Pashup Shad, it's a tree. But according to the Ramban and the Rambam, that the Kriya B'Shem Hashem is informing the world about Kadesh Baruch What does it mean that Avram Avinu planted a tree, or a Pardes, and taught the world about Kadesh Baruch there? Rashi quotes Chazal that Al Yidei Oso Eishel Nikra Shmel Shakadosh Baruch Hu Allah Cholam. With the Eishel, whether the Rashi brings two opinions, the Eishel maybe it was a Pardes, maybe it was a Pundak, but one way or the other, Avram Avinu made a place where he served food, and through serving the food, he called out the name of Hashem. He let the name of Hashem be known in the world. What does that mean? Rashi says he would serve the food. And then he would, he would tell, the, when they finished eating, he would tell his guest, now it's time, they would start praising Avram Avinu. He would say, no, it's not my food, it's a Kaddish Baruch food. What type of Kriya B'Shem Hashem is this? At, at first it would seem that this is the same as what he was always doing, but the, maybe the Eishel was the hook. You, know, you invite people for a good meal, you feed them good food, you give them, you give them good drinks, you have a nice comfortable home, it's shady, it's, co- it's, it's, it's cool. And then, that's the hook to get them talking, and then you bring up the theological points that you want to raise, and that's what Avram Avinu is doing. That would be a simplistic way of looking at it. Presumably, though, that doesn't really fully capture it, because if that was the case, the Eishel is not really the vehicle for Kriya B'Shem Hashem. It's just a hook. But Pashtus, what, what Rashi is bringing from Chazal, that Avram Avinu would invite people and feed them and tell them to be Varech Lamisha Omar Rahayi HaOlam, Avram Avinu was doing a new Kriya B'Shem Hashem. It was a Kriya B'Shem Hashem not of teaching people theological principles. It was a Kriya B'Shem Hashem of chesed, of doing good for people, having them appreciate just how good things can be done for them, how much they have to appreciate from another human being, and then using that teachable moment to say, and if you think you appreciate me, you have to appreciate the Misha Amar Olam, the food that I served you, I didn't invent it. The good feeling that you have right now, that comfort that you're feeling, it's not from me, it's from HaKadosh Baruch Hu. He, his chesed became a beacon of light for people to appreciate HaKadosh Baruch Hu's chesed. It's a Kriya B'Shem Hashem 
of modeling Kashvachus Chesed, where Avon Vinu would say, You see, you see me doing good for you. I'm only a pale reflection of the tremendous chesed of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. But by doing so, by Avraham Avinu doing so, he became an ish chesed, the Medrash says. He's an ish chesed, he embodies chesed. He embodies HaKadosh Baruch Hu's midah in a way that when people see Avraham Avinu doing chesed, they ap- a- appreciate that it's HaKadosh Baruch Hu's chesed. The Kleisenberger Rebbe, during the Holocaust, he promised himself that, he would, that if he survived, he would build a hospital. He wouldn't only, he spent many, much of his life after the war, trying to spread Torah, of course. But he devoted himself, in particular, to building a hospital. He said, I need to show the world what chesed is. The world has experienced so, much, so, much, so many barbaric things in the years of the Shoah. The world needs to see chesed. I'm going to build a hospital. That, not only is it Shomer Shabbos and the food will be kosher, but the care will be delivered with kindness, with sensitivity. We're living now in a time the world has seen so many barbaric things. And of course, we need to respond. We need to respond with the Minas Hadin. We need to respond with de- destroying Ra in this world. And that's certainly our mission right now as, as, a, as a nation, to destroy Ra. But at the same time, we have a mission to be Anshe Chesed, to, to promote Chesed, to demonstrate to ourselves, to our Tzibur, to the world as a whole, the goodness of Akash Baruch Hu, to demonstrate that we bear the mission of Avram Avinu. Just like the Ramam says, B'Shem Hashem Kelolam, everything he did was for the world to know HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Everything we do needs to be for the world to know HaKadosh Baruch Hu. HaKadosh Baruch Hu has a no came nikama. HaKadosh Baruch Hu has the Baal Chesed of the entire world. So at this time, we as a nation need to come together. Each one of us, with, starting with ourselves, with our family, with our tzibor, and for the world as a whole, to be mated as much as we can to those around us, to demonstrate to the world, HaKadosh Baruch Hu's midah chesed, that the whole world should understand, Mi Sha'amar Bahaya Ha'olam. Good chance.